Now let's look at how you can create and edit delivery zones for your store. Again, let's go to the home page and go to your store settings by clicking on the cog wheel in the right hand corner above the sales graph. And this time we will choose delivery settings. Now you can see a map where you can create and edit your delivery zones. If I want to create a delivery zone, I just hit on the pink circle with the plus icon and it's going to ask for some information to set up the zone. The system will ask for the minimum order value in order to deliver to that particular zone. And it will also ask for you to enter a delivery fee for a driver to deliver to that zone. The system then gives you two options for delivery zone types. The first option is a circle. This is a radius around your store, for example, for one, two or three kilometers from your store. Or you can choose a polygon shape. This is where you can draw a specific shape that will include or exclude specific areas. So let's start with a polygon delivery zone. I'm going to choose the minimum order value to deliver to this zone as $10. And let's make the delivery fee maybe $5. Then all I have to do is click add zone. You can now see that we are able to edit that square shaped zone as it's highlighted on the right of the screen in gray. You can also see white dots around the shape that we can currently edit. If I want to edit any of the other delivery zones, I can simply click on the zone in the box on the right hand side of the page and quickly make changes to the minimum order value to deliver to that area or to the delivery fee, as well as being able to access the map and change the radius or shape of the zone. As you can see, any changes that I make are saved automatically. Now I'm going to edit the most recent delivery zone I have created. Maybe I've decided that I don't want my delivery zones to touch the water. By clicking the white dots, I have the ability to drag them anywhere on the map. This makes it really easy for you to customize your delivery zones. Now you can see I've successfully altered the delivery zone in a matter of seconds. There is also a gray undo arrow icon here in case you make a change you weren't happy with. I may also want to disable a zone as I maybe only deliver there on certain days of the week. All I have to do is go to the three vertical dots beside the zone to edit it. Once I've clicked on the three dots, I just click disable. If I was to disable the zone, you will see that the delivery zone turns gray rather than the original color and in the box you will see that there is a hidden icon beside the zone. This means the customers in that zone can't currently order for delivery. Once you are ready to enable it, click on the three vertical dots again and click enable. You can also completely delete delivery zones if for instance you've decided to remove certain areas from your delivery radius. To do this, click on the zone, go to the box on the right hand side of the page, you will see it in grey when it's editable, click on the three vertical dots and then select delete. As this will completely delete the zone, just like when deleting a menu item, it's going to show you a prompt to check if this is in fact what you wish to do. You will see pressing delete will remove zone six for good. If you're happy this is correct, click on delete and now this zone has been deleted for your store. So now you can see how you can easily create, edit, disable and delete your delivery zones.